Tonight, the Douglas County community really is showing support for a family they say deserves all the love they can get right now. The youngest child of the Price family was in a car crash last week, and the injuries are severe. Doctors' number one concern right now is saving the young athlete's legs. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon has our story. Yeah, these hallways are where Jerome Price has made such an impact on countless lives here at Rock Canyon High School. And tonight, within this stadium, all of the green that you see on the fans, on the cheerleaders, and even right here on this group of young men, it's all for Price's son, Makai. This game between Cherry Creek and Rock Canyon High School. I'd say I'm focused. I mean, I really want to... I really want to go out there and play well. Is missing someone. Obviously this game's for him. Our whole team has already discussed that. Um, win or lose, I think it's going to be an emotional night for both teams. Every play on the court. And every bit of green in the crowd. <laughs> is dedicated to a 17-year-old athlete named Makai Price. His father, Jerome Price, says his son was in a car crash on Thursday while leaving Cherry Creek High School. The other day he was in surgery for 11 hours. And there is a QR code if you'd like to donate to the Price family tonight. The game, a fundraiser for a family where the support for their son is undeniable. One day at a time, if he doesn't have any legs, guess what, he's still our kid, he's gonna come home to us. And where are you from? And the support from the entire community for the Price family <laughs> is also heard in the music at this choir concert. And that's what tonight is all about here, is sharing the love of this season. Julia Dale, a colleague of Jerome's, says he works as an educational assistant at the school, helping special needs students like Carson Stokely. Mr. Price is a EA for me, and I appreciate all the help. This performance raising money for the Price family. A family who, no matter who you ask, is getting the help they've always given. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.